Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are doing a create a sim challenge which I am really excited for because it's combining two of my most favorite games in the world, Animal Crossing and Sims 4. I have seen a ton of people do this challenge on YouTube. Just to name a few, we've got Becca Fay, Elian, Eliandra, Vampire Scythe, Symphysia. I'm not exactly sure who did it first, but I just wanted to shout out the people that have done this challenge in the past. So my villagers currently are Maple, Lily, Agnes, Shep, Judy, Gonzo, Anchovy, Raymond, Kiki, and Gale. I'm only going to be doing four of my villagers in this video. If you guys want to see the rest of them, you're gonna to have to let me know in the comments. But today, we're gonna to be doing Judy, Raymond, Maple, and Kiki. <laughs> Kiki is my newest villager, so I'm really excited to have her. If you're new here, hello, my name is Savannah. I have a ton of Sims content on my channel. I've got Let's Plays, I've got build videos, I've got creative Sim challenges. So if that interests you, it would mean the world to me if you could come on over and subscribe. I'm trying so hard to get to 100k and it would really mean the world to me if you could help me get there. I have a Celsius today, Kiwi Guava! I went to CVS the other day and I noticed that they were selling them here in my town. So I don't really have to order them online anymore, which is kind of a big deal for me. <laughs> Cheers to you guys! Cheers to this video! Oh man, I forgot how good this flavor was. <laughs> and without any further ado, let's create some sims. Okay you guys, here we are in create a sim. Now I kind of pre-made four sims, not really pre-made, just kind of like got them ready, I guess. So the first one, blah, 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 the first one we're going to be doing is Judy. Now, does Judy have a last name? Do any of the villagers have a last name? It doesn't look like they do, but next to her name it says Miss Suzu on the Animal Crossing wiki, and I think that would be a really cute last name. I'm not really sure what that means. I'm guessing that's like Judy in Japanese or something like that. I don't know, but she's a snooty cub villager. She's so cute and so unique because she's got these giant beautiful anime eyes. She's like this pink and purple gradient little baby bear. I love her. Love her so much. She's definitely one of my favorites. So this sim, she's going to be very um kawaii, I guess. <laughs> and we're going to be dressing her in lots of lots of colorful, colorful colors. Oh my god. What? Anyway, let's get into it then. Let's make her aspiration. Hmm. Let's do let's do world famous celebrity. Why not? And then we'll make her traits uh, beguiling. That one kind of matches the aesthetic we're going for. Let's go with let's do unstoppable fame because she is definitely one of the most loved villagers in Animal Crossing. Aw, animal affection. That's really cute. We could do that or we could do... Judy has a snooty personality which means she loves makeup and gossiping, huh? <gasps> gossiping, eh? Isn't that interesting? Maybe we should do self-absorbed then. Alright, Judy. Let's get to work on you then. Ever since I downloaded the uh, new Slice of Life update, I noticed that some of my sims are taller than others. Okay, watch. Like, look at the height difference between Judy. You see her head. It's above the mirror, then if we go over here to this sim, it's like a little bit lower. Watch, let me take the hair off so you guys can properly see. Do you see that? And look, she's like a lot taller over here as well. So I don't know, I guess that's like an automatic thing now, which is pretty exciting. I know that there's a height slider mod, but I've never downloaded it, so... I don't know, it's like forced into my game, which which I don't mind. <laughs> okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. I downloaded some, actually, do we wanna keep the, this eye shape as well? I want her eyes to be really big. Okay, I kinda wanna do those. And her eyes are purple. So I downloaded some like super kawaii eyes. So let's have a look at them and see if any of them work for her. Oh, these are cute. That, those could definitely work. Okay, and then in skin details, I know that I have this like eye shine. 
that looks exactly like the eyeshine she has so yeah that should work out nicely actually they're more along the lines of this shade actually or this oh my no this 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 one this one this one okay okay <laughs> sorry i'm taking like way too long just on the eyes okay i finally got her eye situation worked out um okay so let's change the brows really quick because they are like super thick and it's kind of throwing everything off for me um so judy doesn't have brows in animal crossing so i guess we could just give her whatever brows we want let's just let's just put those for now and then we need let's see turquoise eyeshadow this could work yeah that's actually nice oh let's look at this one. Oh no this one this one's perfect it is literally just on the top that's amazing 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 okay just pop some eyeliner on there and then we need those um eye sparkles let's see these we need some really like over exaggerated ones Those could work. Yeah, let's go with those ones. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, now the very important part. The hair! So Judy is like, she is blue and pink. Blue on one side, pink on the other, and then it's like gradiented together. So maybe we could find a hair that's like um, two colors split down the middle. I know that I have some. It's just a matter of finding it in this uh of hair <laughs> let's see well I mean there's purple and pink that could work what about this one? Oh, let's see what we got oh that's blue and pink that could work oh my god this one's perfect now I don't know what color to make her brows I guess that color or this one okay I ended up changing her liner and her lashes. I think this looks much, much better. All right, let's try and find her something to wear now. So she really likes pink um, dresses, skirts, stuff like that. So let's go into full body and see if I have anything in here that... Uh... I think she needs to be a little bit more curvy as well because Judy is kind of a chubby little bear. Um... All right, let's see what we got. Oh, this is a cute little romper. Not a good color, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's cute. But no, it needs to be brighter, you know? Oh my gosh. This could work. I actually like that. Um, It's kind of hard for some reason to find, like, a really bright swatch. It's probably because I always download, like, muted things. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. This is perfect. Okay, I decided on these star socks and these like slip-on sketcher looking things. I don't even know, but I think they just go well with the outfit. I know it's a little bit out there, but Judy's a little out there. So we're doing it. We're freaking doing it. Okay, and then let's see if a, a hat looks good, if anything like suits the outfit or whatever. Well, none of the hats are really catching my eye. So I think maybe we're done with her. She just needs some nails, I think. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, those are cute. I like those a lot. Maybe a necklace? I don't know. I feel like she's like lacking accessories. Maybe a transparent choker. That's kind of cute. Yeah, let's do the choker. Okay, so here is Judy. I think she's really, really cute. I love the way that she turned out. I hope that you guys do as well. Let's move on to sim number two. This is going to be our only male that we're doing, and it's going to be Raymond. I found Raymond and I found Judy on an island, which um, I got like super duper lucky. All right, you guys. So Raymond in Japanese, I think it's going to be... Jaku. Okay, Raymond Jaku. So he is a smug villager. He is a little gray cat with like a little tuft of white hair. He wears glasses and he has heterochromia. One of his eyes is brown and one of his eyes is green and he wears like really dapper clothing like ties and vests and things. He is very polite, kind, and gentleman-like. He will get along easily with others. 
His style is civic. I'm not really sure what that means, but you can kind of tell just by looking at him. Okay, Raymond, we are going to make you a proper gentleman. I'm excited. His house, inside of his house, it's an office. Like, he doesn't even have a bed. It's just like a desk and a computer and a bunch of office stuff. So maybe we should make him... Is there a business aspiration? Let's do nerd brain. I don't think there is a business aspiration. And then we can do... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Gentleman-like. I wish there was a polite trait. Oh, okay, business savvy. Then we can do... I feel like he is a foodie because he's constantly talking about, like, food and, like, that kind of stuff. So we can do that. And then we can do... <laughs> we can do cat lover. That would be pretty funny. I think that maybe snob... Yeah, that works. All right, perfect. Let's go, Raymond. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I really like these eyes, but we got to find the heterochromia ones. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> A smug villager will stroke his ego from time to time going on about how cool he is. Oh my gosh. Heterochromia. Okay. Ah, yes. Here we go. Okay. So his right eye is green. And the other eye, it's like... I would say it's that color. So he has kind of like a turned down mouth, kind of like that. I really want his eyes to look pretty catty. And then he has a little itty bitty nose. Oh my gosh, you guys, he kind of does look like a cat. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Super high cheekbones. Pointy. Actually, he has kind of like a roundish face. Okay, and I kind of do like these brows. How do you guys feel about these brows? Hmm, let's look at other ones. Oh, I kind of like those. These are real nice. Okay, and then, dude, should we give him fangs since he's like a cat? <laughs> I think we need to. I think it only makes sense. But yeah, cats have them on the top and the bottom. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, love the dimples. Absolutely love them. So he has like a little tuft of blonde hair just right here in the center of his forehead. Oh, that's going to be kind of hard to find. I mean, there is this one. There's this as well, which kind of, I mean, it kind of suits. Or maybe this. Dang, that's actually really, really close. <gasps> All right. These are perfect. <laughs> With the exact same shape and everything. Really want to give him a, a nose ring, so I think we're gonna have to do that. <laughs> I just can't help myself. Let's find you something to wear now, Ray. So, something like this. Like, very crisp. Like, he cares about what he's wearing. I have a lot of options, actually. I have a lot of CC like this. Like this one, there's this one. There's this. His signature outfit is like a collared shirt with a tie with a vest over it. I know that The Sims has that. I don't know if I have any CC like that though. It's like this. Oh my gosh, I wish this had a tie so bad. Okay, wow, I'm actually not seeing a Sims version of it. Like there's vests over collared shirt. There's this one, but like, no. My god, no. I just don't see a vest with a tie. Maybe I'm thinking of like the toddler clothes or the children's clothes. Ah, here it is. Yeah. This is almost exactly what Raymond is wearing. <laughs> but I like the other one if we're being honest. If I'm being honest. Shoot, guys, I don't know. I'm so torn now. I'm really tempted to give him the pants with the Gucci belt. <laughs> so dapper. Do they come in gray? Oh my gosh, they do. Oh my gosh! Why am I in love with him? Why do I always fall in love with my Sims, guys? I have an issue. Those pants look nice, too. But I never use the Gucci belt, so we're gonna have to use the Gucci belt. Okay, now for some shoesies. I'm thinking dress shoes or 
we've got these Chelsea boots. Definitely not Docs. No, no, no. We need something fancy. I'm thinking maybe these. I don't know, though. What about an all black? Okay, yeah, that looks nice. Socks or no socks? Probably no socks. Yes, King. Oh, man. He's my favorite so far. So cute. Oh, what happened to your eyeball? Is it the glasses? Or is it the... No, it's the watch. Darn. I love the watch. He's done. I hope that you guys like him. Let's move on to Miss Kiki. So Kiki is a very spooky villager. She's a little black cat with hot pink ears, these big yellow eyes. She's so dang cute. So her last name is going to be Kiab Kiabia? Kiabia. Her style is basic, okay? Uh, her goal is to be a writer. She likes to fish. <laughs> That's funny because she's a cat. She has a normal personality, acts kind towards the players. Okay. So since she has no defining style, I guess we can just do whatever we want with her, which is kind of fun. All right, I already gave her her yellow eyes. I think they need to be a bit bigger. I just realized we're doing two cats. Two cats and two bears, oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Where's the variety? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> she has a pushed up pudgy nose. Okay. Pushed up. That's a little bit too pushed up, isn't it? Okay, so there we go with the skin details. I think we should probably give her the cat teeth as well. Or should we just leave them normal? I think Raymond looks cool with the cat teeth, but... Alright, let's just, let's just fi figure that out later. Let's find her some hair. Uh, so since she has magenta ears, should we give her magenta hair? I'm kind of tempted, but at the same time, I don't know. This one matches really well, like her whole color palette. That's an option. Let's see what else there is. This one matches too, but I'm not a huge fan of the bleach tips. There's always something wrong with the hair that I find. This one's pretty close too, so that's another option. Oh, I found one that's almost the exact same color as her ears. <gasps> I think we might have to go with this one. I think so. I think so, I think so, I think so. And then for her lips, since her little smile is like completely red, maybe we can give her red lips. Depending on how that looks, we need to find like the absolute perfect one. Okay, these ones don't- this- this red lipstick doesn't look too horrible. Ah, I don't know, this is hard. I really want to give her some piercings. But which ones will look good on our gal? She is like so beautiful, I think that she could pull off pretty much anything. I always love a good septum. Always, always, always. Should we give her snake bites? I kind of like them if we give her snake bias since she has the setup that I- the piercing setup that I want. <laughs> Alright, let's find her some little liner. Maybe like a yellow eyeliner. Oh, wow, that's like super bright. Can we get something a little toned down? That looks kind of cool. What about this one? Mmm. I don't know. I think that might be too much makeup. She just- she looks pretty just the way that she is. I really like this eyeshadow, but okay, if I take the lipstick off, that looks really, really, really cool. I'm kind of tempted to like leave the lipstick off and add the eyeshadow, or take the eyeshadow off and leave the lipstick. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Okay, I think we're gonna have to go with that. That looks real cute. I added these little clips, and even though the hair cuts it off, it kind of looks like little ears. Okay, so in her picture, Kiki is wearing, like, an argyle sweater. But I don't know if I want her to wear an argyle sweater. <laughs> is she wearing, like, anything else in any other pictures? Not really. The argyle sweater is, like, her... Her trademark. Okay. It is what it is, I guess. It's like a little sweater with a collar underneath. Oh, kind of like this, actually. This is pretty good. 
I know for a fact that I don't have a sweater with like the Argyle print on it, so we might just have to go with something like that. Uh, hmm. Or we could put her in this. Oh, this is really, really cute. This kind of reminds me of what she's wearing just a little bit. I wish there was this green coat with a white shirt underneath. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, and then she just needs some black jeans. Okay, and then she kind of strikes me as a boot girl. Okay, love those. Absolutely love them. I don't know about you guys, but I really, really like her. Oh, I forgot to do aspiration and traits. Dang it. All right, so she likes fishing and writing. So we can do the writing aspiration. And let's do angler's tranquility. Their problems seem to melt away while they are fishing. That's perfect. Oh, here we go. Rider. These Sims make amazing riders. And then her last trait should be cat lover. <laughs> Whatever that is. Dude, I'm in love with her. She's so cool, you guys. Oh my word. All right, all right, let's move on. Last but not least, we've got Miss Maple. Maple is such a cute villager. She's always so sweet. And she calls you honey, because she's a little bear. Isn't that adorable? So she's a normal cub villager. Uh, let's see, let's see. She has pale red blush. She's the color of maple syrup. She has a black nose and small shiny black eyes. Okay. Her skill is writing letters. Her goal is to be an architect. That's so cute. She has a basic style. And she's really, like, um, outdoorsy, which is really cute. So, yeah, I got, I, I mean, this color is pretty good for maple. Her eyes need to be black, so let's find a good black eye. Okay, I'm gonna go with these crybaby eyes. So pretty. I love the brows. I love her little nose. I think it should be a little bit higher. Okay. And I think her head needs to be a little rounder. Okay, that works. All right, take the hair off, add some skin details. Let's see. Oh, so pretty, love that. That was easy, the first one I chose. Oh, this one's cute too. Okay, we might have to do that one. Okay, I'm already obsessed with her, she's so cute. Maple has some like really dark blush. I mean like it's really pronounced, I guess, so. Yeah, something like that. And I think she would look really cute with freckles, too. Okay, she needs some brunette hair braces? I guess, yeah. Brunette hair with bangs, for sure. Because Maple has little bangs and they're so cute. That one could work. Um, That one could work, too. Ah, oh, this one's really good. They're kind of swoopy. Okay, that's that's my number one choice at the moment. Sorry about my camera, guys. If you're new here, it's just something you gotta get used to. <laughs> my camera stops recording after a certain amount of time and I never notice. And then when I do notice, I'm like, when did it go off? How much have I said? <laughs> Ooh, this is really cute too. Oh my gosh, it totally looks like her. Holy crap, I'm tripping. I think the hair I liked best with it was this one. Yes, definitely with the winged liner for sure. Oh my gosh, my hand. It's like going numb from sitting here for so long. <laughs> Miss Maple. So in this picture, she's got a sweater with a tree on it, which is really cute, but I think we could find... It just kind of has to have that like outdoorsy look, I guess. That's really cute. That's an option. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, I love this one as well. And it comes in the right swatch. So cute. There's that one too. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm getting excited. <laughs> okay, I looked through them all and I think this is probably the closest that we're gonna get. And since it doesn't have the tree on it, I was thinking we could give her dark green jeans instead. Uh, that's gonna be really hard to find. Here are some. They're more on the turquoise side, though. Give me dark green, like a true green. Oh, here's some. That could work. Wow, I can't believe these come in dark green. Oh my gosh. 
this. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for these boots and this the little socky socks. What else? What else does she need? Should we slap a hat on her? Maybe this one? She kind of looks like a park ranger, but I'm kind of living for it. <laughs> all right, guys. Maple is all done. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to name her. Okay, Maple, and then last name... Mepuru. Mepuru. Okay. I think they all have last name... Oh no, J-M, R-J, K-K, and M-M. All right. So Maple is going to do... Let's do... Outdoor enthusiast. Um, what were her things again? It's writing letters and architect. Oh, okay. Hmm. I guess she could be creative then. Where's the loves outdoors one? She obviously obviously needs that. Loves outdoors, and then we'll do perfectionist perhaps or bookworm. Dang. Let's do perfectionist. I think perfectionist because you have to be kind of a perfectionist to be an architect. <laughs> all right, Maple, you are all done and you are so dang cute. I love you. All right, guys, well, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you would like me to do a round two with four of my other villagers, just let me know and I will be happy to. Again, if you're new here, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video, help me get to 100K and I will see you in my next video. Love you and goodbye.